We're here today in, in the spiritual home with the periodic videos to show you an energetic reaction. And um, unlike the normal energetic reactions that I show you, like with, with oxygen and things like that. Five, four, three, two, one. We don't need a source of ignition for this chemical reaction. It's called a hypergolic reaction. So we take two reactants and we mix them together and they instantaneously form a chemical reaction with a generation of lots of heat, exothermic reactions, and lots of small molecules of gas like CO2, nitrogen, and steam. So the hypergolic reactions themselves are really, really useful. And you find them all over the place in jet mo motors and rockets and things like that. Right away, Houston. That's your grid. But we thought we'd show you one today in the lab. So in the fume hood, we've got a small amount of equipment. We have a stand, which we're going to use to, to contain our reaction. And we're going to do the reaction in a test tube. And what I've done is I've cooled the test tube in ice, so it's cold. And I'll tell you why I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to clamp it up and then lower it so that it's steady. OK, so you can see it quite nicely. Now I've cooled it quite simply because one of the reactants in this hypergolic reaction is normally a gas at room temperature. It boils at about 21 degrees. So on a warm day like today in Nottingham, it's about 24 degrees. It's a gas. So as I said, it's a gas stored in a cylinder. And here's our cylinder of N2O4. It's quite an energetic mixture, and we're going to use it as an oxidant for, for this hypergolic reaction. So we're going to put some in the tube. So we open the valve, open the second valve slowly, and allow the gas to dribble into the test tube. If I hold the test tube up, you can see that there's a very nice orange liquid in the bottom and it's vaporizing and forming a quite a heavy gas, dense gas, which is sitting above the liquid. So there's our oxidant, the first component of our hypergolic mixture. The second component, or the fuel for this chemical reaction, is a, it's quite a common molecule. It's one that's used in the, in the laboratories all the time and it's aniline. So this is a, a benzene ring with a, a nitrogen group hanging off the side. Okay? So the aniline will react with the, the N2O4, N2O4 and then we will generate lots of CO2, lots of nitrogen and a bit of steam, water vapour. So here I'm going to take a pipette which we've made specially for this reaction and I'm going to add a small amount of the aniline to the test tube and hopefully we'll see a hypergolic. So, pipette approximately a milliliter of aniline into the pipette and then we'll add a few drops and see what happens. So as you can see, the minute that I put the aniline in, it reacts spontaneously to generate lots of smoke, which you can see here is carbon, lots of CO2, nitrogen and water vapour. I think we should try it a little bit more. And again, the reaction proceeds very nicely. A little bit faster now because the tube is already warm. Let's try for a third. Now the N2O4 is all used. 